Hi traders, this is Forex Nelson and I'm back doing another two trades. I, use, I like to take two trades most of the time. Check the meter out. Meter was telling me to sell the yen. So I did my usual pound yen and euro yen. I got in here roughly an hour ago. This is um, Asian session on August the 21st platform says August 22nd but that's because uh, my platform which is Vantage FX it's in Sydney Australia so if I open up the charts here you can see from this is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time but in Australia this is the platform is from Australia so this is midnight and this is now August the 22nd, it's 9.28 or 9.30 approximately, right here I took the trade. I originally thought it was just going to break through and keep going because of the weakness of the yen, but it did a pullback around the mean, never did hit my stop. This is a 20 pip stop here. Approximately 20 pips, and I ended up with approx uh, seven pips. Starting to do a pullback. It's getting a little bit late now. It's around 10:30, and I want to shut things down. I, if I would have been patient enough and just to wait for the pullback, but you never know. It could break through and keep going. But in this situation, it did a pullback. I knew it was going to go up as I was looking at the higher time frames as I teach in my training videos if you get the pip trigger I go in detail and teach you how you should look at the higher time frames and then go down to the five minutes and take the trade now, I don't like to leave the trade uh, going through the London session because the London this can go up or down and I'd rather lock in some profits and wake up in the morning and be losing. And tomorrow morning I can trade again, not a big deal. I'm only looking to get 10 or 20 pips. Sometimes it's a little bit less, like in this situation. And I also did the uh, pound yen. I did exactly the same thing. I bought it right at the top here, hoping that it was going to keep going but it did a pullback so I got in right here there's my 20 pip stop it went against me 15 pips and I closed out with 12 pips so roughly approximately 20 pips on both of them paying out as you can see down here at the bottom around seventeen hundred and thirty dollars Now if you can grab 10 or 20 pips, especially during the Asian session, everything above 20 pips is a bonus, but certainly um, if you have a day job you can come home and you can trade the Asian session. Usually between 7 and 10 o'clock the market will start to move and all I did was I looked at the meter and the meter told me which one to take but sometimes it will do a pullback and as you can see made a higher high here than this and this is a higher low so I knew that the trend was going up and I knew it was going to go up and give me some pips before 11 o'clock and that's all I was concerned about I'm using the new uh, Bollinger Bands I made two of them one Bollinger Band you're looking at, the second one has two Bollinger Bands. You trade it slightly a different way. I teach uh, many videos on how to trade both of these different types of Bollinger Bands successfully. If you get the pip trigger, I'll teach you exactly how, how, how I trade it. So if you want to know more about the pip trigger, system look right below this video 
and there's co my contact information you can either Skype email me or call me directly and I'll answer your questions and if you Skype me I'll show you a lot more on the pip trigger anyhow if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and until the next video happy trading